Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled The Infamous Tale of a Pilot Friend and the Unfortunate Goat Incident. Now, I had a lot of fun as an airline pilot, and I had a lot of fun as captain. I was captain for 25 years, and I had a lot of fun with the PA. Um, one time, we're going from Chicago to San Francisco, and one of the flight attendants asked, um, she says, I have a real tight connection. Can you tell me what my connecting gate is? So, fine. I looked it up, and I made an announcement to the people. I said, hey, we're going to San Francisco, and we're going to park at gate such and such. And I said, by the way, uh, Sally, your gate is... B-17, something like that. I forget what it was. And uh, uh, I said, well, folks, you're probably wondering why I would I would make mention of uh, the connecting flight for one of our flight attendants. And I said, well, Sally is a marine biologist in her spare time, and she's going out to assist in the live birth of a sea otter. And then I would hang it up. And my co-pilot looked at me and says, did you really say that? And uh, so I waited a little bit. Uh, it's almost probably two minutes or so. And I get a call on the uh, the intercom and they're laughing. And they said, all right, we that, that was that was a good one. They uh, they turned their name tags around and uh, the, the people were saying, oh, is that you? And they say, no, it's the other one. And they go, oh, that, that's very sweet. But let me get back to my tale of the unfortunate goat incident. Now, I had a friend, Kel Janenowicz, something like that. That's not his, that's not his real name, of course. But uh, we roomed together out in Denver when we were absolutely new hire pilots. I mean, we made the awesome amount of $600 a month. So one of the instructors out there, while we're going through initial training, um, he rented out his condo to about 11 of us. Okay, uh, We were you know pilots on top of pilots, but it was cheap, and we went for it, and he made money. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> You know, it all worked out, but but uh, we were new hire pilots together. He was in a couple classes ahead of me, but we were friends, and uh, I, I've known Cal for a, for a very long time. Well, uh, I'm down in Orlando. I'm a 27 captain now. This is quite a few years later, and and uh, he puts his family on board. His uh, his wife and a uh, couple of daughters. I think they were eight and six, something like that. Um, but anyway, he comes up to the cockpit. He knows I was uh, flying the trip, so he comes up and says hello. And he says, "I put my my family on back here." And I said, "Oh, that's that's great, Cal." So he gets off, and uh, we're getting ready to push there. And and uh, I pick up the PA, and I'd said, "Well, you know, folks, welcome to the flight. We're going up to Chicago today, give them the weather and stuff like that." And I said, uh, "One thing I'd like to mention is that we have." the family of our one of our more noted captains on board and i, I said he's an extremely well respected um captain in, in, in spite of the unfortunate goat incident and then i hang the pa up and my co-pilot looks at me and says did you really say that and i go yeah i might have well um yeah of course they're they're back there and uh they're asking mommy what what goat incident well I get back to Chicago and I'm down there in operations and good old Kel comes in. This is actually a, a later picture because I don't have an early picture of me in operations. Uh, back then I didn't have uh, gray hair. It was still blonde. Uh, but anyway, I'm in operations and uh, Kel comes up to me and says, goat incident. He says, my little daughters were on board and they're asking goat incident. And he says, I'll, I'll get you. <laughs> Well, then I started flying to Hawaii. I'm on the triple seven and, um, no, no, this is, no, I was, it was not that, that's not the airplane. That's the airplane. That's the airplane, the triple seven. Okay. I'm flying out to Hawaii and, and I, I really enjoy flying to Hawaii. It's a good time. A lot of people enjoy it. They go out there for vacations. Uh, my final trip was, uh, Maui to Maui, uh, back to back and, uh, took the whole family out. And have a fun time with the crew. We have to relax. We have to, you know, decompress from the uh, the the uh, terrific, you know, uh, challenge and responsibility of going out there. So you know, we get together for supper and stuff like that. But this time I'm flying out to Kona, and Kona is a fun place to fly uh, because they kind of take the runway and they carved it out of the lava. And so I'd make comments to the new crew members that isn't that neat how the lava stopped came right up to the runway and just stopped there. Yeah. So anyway, the neat thing about uh, Kona is that at at the time at least it was an outdoor jetway. 
And uh, they just bring up a little bridge there, and I would uh, open the cockpit window there. They would roll back. It's not like the 787 where you can't do that. I could roll up, roll back this big window, and I'd wave to the people and say hello. And I'd make a PA announcement, you know, that, yeah, I've closed my window, and we've also closed that door, and that is a really big engine you just walked by. But um, we, we had just gotten in uh, to Kona and landed. And I'm sitting there, uh, I'm just kind of cleaning everything up, and uh, the flight attendant says, hey, we have a, a young lady who would like to talk to you. And I go, oh, that's very nice. So uh, I come up out of my seat, and uh, this is just a stock picture. This isn't the uh, young lady, but she was a, a very beautiful young lady, about 18 years old or so, and uh, this isn't a real name, but she comes up to me and says, hi. I'm Brittany Genenova Set, not you know, not her first or last name, but she says, Hi. I was on board the airplane when you made the announcement about the unfortunate goat incident. And okay, if you haven't figured out by now there really was not any unfortunate goat incident. I I, I made that all up. Okay, in case in case you didn't realize, I made that all up. But anyway, she says, I was on board the airplane and my dad said you were flying the airplane and I just wanted to come up and say hi to you. So we had a good laugh about that. Well, Cal eventually became the chief pilot, and like I told him, I said, if I knew you were going to become uh, famous and all that and uh, be my boss, I would have been, uh, you know, a lot nicer and a lot more careful. But uh, we, we, we had a, a good joke about that uh, all during our uh, careers together. And uh, on my final uh, week of flying, I had two Maui trips back to back out of Chicago. And uh, Cal came along on the first one with my family. That's some of my family there, my wife next to me. I'm under the B-16 sign, and I won't tell which pilot in uniform is Cal, but you might be able to figure it out. But anyway, he, uh, he flew with me so he could bring the airplane back and I could stay a little bit longer. And then I did headed back to fly my final um, uh, flight home uh, from Maui. So I, it, he allowed me to spend a little more time uh, with my family there. And then I had my final takeoff out of Maui. I retired in 2015 because I got old and decrepit. And of course, I got to stay on till 65, which was a nice thing for me. Not for the people junior to me, of course, but a nice thing for me. Um, the great pause in their careers, my son called it, because he's junior to me, obviously, at United. But anyway, um, I had a nice uh, last flight. Brought the whole family back uh, from Maui, landed in Chicago, set the parking brake for the very last time, and uh, told the crew members that, um, you know, well, I was leaving the airplane, and if I tried to get in the cockpit next week, somebody would probably shoot me, because uh, once you're retired, you're done. Um, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the people, and I enjoyed having fun on the PA. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining.